Welcome back to another episode of the Electrician's Tool Channel. And guys, before I start this video again, I just want to thank you guys, those of you who've been, uh, who just subscribed to my, uh, who have been subscribing to my uh, uh, channel and uh, who's been, uh, you know, hit the like button and help support the channel. I really appreciate that, man. And uh, those of you who just, this is your first time looking at the channel, if you if you value anything at all that I've been doing, uh, get, if you've gotten any kind of value out of anything that I've been doing, I, I ask you to help to put, uh, support the channel by hitting that uh, like the like button under the video, that subscribe button also, so uh, you can be added to the feed and you can receive all my videos coming in coming to you, and uh, I guess daily, you know, uh, I guess daily. Well. Uh, and again, I really do appreciate it, man, that y'all helping the channel grow. Uh, it's not where I, I guess it should be, but I hope that y'all appreciate what I'm trying to do. Now, this the, this this video today is for uh, you know any I say I say it again. It's for any anyone who wants to watch it, but mainly I'm talking to the young apprentices out there uh, who's just getting into the trade. And you know that don't have any direction or any knowledge of what tools to buy. I'm trying to recommend certain tools that I think you should need because these tools that had helped me along the way. And uh, so I'm just passing on the knowledge to you for free. And uh, that's why I ask you to, you know, if you appreciate that, like I, uh, if you appreciate me, like I appreciate you, hit that subscribe button, man. Share the channel with your friends. Tell them to hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button underneath of it. And all that's for free, what I'm telling you, man. It's for free. So, uh, with that out of the way, again, let's move on with the video. Today, uh, this series, this is series uh, part five. And today, we're talking about test probes as well as test leads that I think or recommend that you should have. Uh, if not now in your two um uh in your two arsenal you should be uh looking to acquire some of them so now i know it's kind of i don't have much room up here and it look kind of all uh you know like spaghetti up here but we're gonna go through each one so just bear with me and uh we're gonna uh go through each one and i can kind of tell you what they're used for if you've never seen some of them before i'm sure you probably haven't and uh i'll kind of you know fill you in on what I've used them for, and you know, maybe I can help you out. So, uh, we're gonna start right here. Hold on a minute. Uh, be right back. One second. One second. start with these test leads right here now again I, I tell you that the brand that I have up here is the, just the brand that I prefer you may prefer something different but I'm just kind of give putting you in the arena of what you know what do um, what kind of probe that I that, that you may want or um, you may have your own brand that you want to follow put it like that these right here are from fluke these are um, these are not the these are like silicone they're not the little hard PVC that freezes up. These are really, these are these are like are really flexible, and uh, I like these. And I, the reason why I like them also, besides being flexible, I like the idea that you can attach multiple um, probes on the end of them instead of me buying uh, having to have the probes already made onto them, and I have to carry six pairs, you know, with different heads on the front of them. I buy these because I have, I do have a lot of. A lot of accessories to go on the tip of them. So, uh, Fluke is the is the one that I recommend. There are other others out there, like this company called Probe Master. Um, some of you may have uh, Agilent tools. You know, Agilent make them if uh, make probes uh, like this. Um, I think Ideal makes some too, uh, make probes like this. But 
you know, I, I just choose to get the fluke ones. Okay? So you may you may look into that. These are about a good man, I wonder what maybe about three feet. Probably. If not longer. No, they're a little longer than three feet. I wanna say, wow. I wanna say about five, maybe five feet. Yeah, they come along. And you know, length is not bad. Length is not bad at all. So but these are the kind of probes. I can't remember the name, the number. They may have them on here. So let me see. Uh, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't see the number on here. But it's category three and category four. Uh, Six hundred volts, category four. Uh, one th it's category three, one thousand volts, and they're, they're ten amps. Um, so, but these are some really nice probes. And that's why I got them. You might want to check into getting yourself a pair of these for your, uh, for your meter. Uh, whatever type of meter you have, this will work out fine for you. And uh, as far as fitting them, they come standard with the four millimeter jacks on them. So you'd be okay with that. Uh, these probes right here also uh, like, uh, from, uh, from Fluke. And the reason why I have these out, because like I was telling you earlier, these fit on these on these leaves right here. And it will fit on just about any kind of probe, that, I mean, any kind of test lead that you have. Because I wanted to show you, you know, uh, about this little shroud, right, protective shroud right here. It comes off, but it also stays on. If you need to have it off, I don't see why you would, unless you, uh, uh, um, you know, need to poke something. But, uh, but anyway, I like, you know, this is a protective shroud to prevent anything from arcing. So that's why I had these out. So if you get some probes, these are the kind of uh, probes that you will want. Now, uh, you know, the kind of the, with, with, with the removable, uh, removable shroud on it, you can put it back on, but you want that protection. You want that protection. So, but these are by fluke. And mostly I think uh, uh, everybody makes them now because I think it's, 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 it's a code that, that they must make probes like the safety code so most uh most companies coming out with them now with their protective shroud some of them come off some of them can't come off but these are some really nice probes right here so just put those back right here now also we're going to talk about these um grabbers alligator clip clips um uh, these are nice plungers i guess you would call them and the reason why you call them plungers because you're pushing down in here and that opens up you may want to get yourself a pair of these also these are nice to have and these are by fluke and fluke is the only ones i know that make this this model you know it look that that looks like this uh, but so if you like this i think fluke is the only place you can get them i don't like i said i don't know the, the model number but um you know you go on a fluke website and put in uh, fluke uh alligator clips or plunger uh alligator clips and I'm sure that they'll pop up. But these are really nice, man. These are really nice. And they got a good grip to them also. So you may want to check out getting a pair of these. And these also fit on these as well as any other, uh, if you decide to get any other uh, type lead. So, and this. These right here, these are probe extenders. I'm all about safety. And I'm, all, I'm always trying to keep myself safe. And, uh, and looking for things that would keep me safe. Now these probes right here, uh, these would go on the tip of these like this, and this would go on the tip of here. And if you hit the probe inside of a panel, well it's giving you some, you know, some leeway to keep your, hand, keep your hands from being right here probing right where it's all hot and on, on, on the lugs or something. So you, you can stand back here and probe. You know, you can probe. So I recommend you getting yourself a set of these. They're called probe extenders by Fluke. You want to check that out. Uh, these right here are some alligator. These are alligator clips. But the term, the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the real term, what they're called, uh, bed of nails. Bed of nails, like a bed you lying of nails. And the reason why, if you look at the you look at the bottom right here, they do have a lot of nail, like, like little pins right there. 
and uh, and that's a bit of, I guess the little con the contact at the bottom, the bottom of the round piece right here laser wire on there and a bit of nails it, it uh, pierces it pierces, pierces the insulation now a lot of a lot of uh, telecom technicians use these but I, I like to use these when I'm dealing with a uh, real small wire and I'm trying to get a low voltage on out of it like uh, just say you're dealing with 18 gauge or uh, 20 gauge wire and you're trying to get that um, get a get that, that voltage reading uh, 20 volt volt if you have no other probe or no lugs to probe but you see that you see the wire you can probe it right there just plug it in and put this in your in your uh, in your uh, test device plug it in and and there you go and just let it lay on there and it appears the insulation and there you what you're reading I mean you'll get your measurement so uh, bed of nails um, those, I, I don't know, I forgot who made these. I don't see the name on them. But um, I think Fluke, I, th I think these are Flukes. If I'm not mis I mean, hold on, I can tell. No, these are not. No, these are not Flukes. I can't remember. This came with an instrument that I had. But uh, anyway, no, no, no. I bought them as an accessory. I did. So, but I can't remember where I got them from. But you did. This is something nice to have. Right here, jumper cables. I believe, now it's not too often that we, you know, you'll be jumping wires, but if you do, you want a nice hot, a nice pair of jumper cables, um, jumper wire. You don't wanna, some people I see sometimes getting, uh, getting uh, a piece of wire, a strip of wire or what have you, and uh, they'll strip the ends and, you know, they'll tie off on one end and, and do that. I've seen people hold a strip of wire in both hands and do that. You can do that if you want, if you choose to do that. But, I like, <clears throat> excuse me. I like to have all the right tools. And this is one, this, this is the reason why I bought these. This is really nice. If you can find them on um, eBay, sell these too. And this is a real thick, flexible wire right here. And this is your jumper cable. If you got to jump with a contactor right here or a hot screw. And now you got a nice, kit. don't buy the little small, skinny, cheap stuff, y'all. This, this this is really nice. This is really nice. So get yourself some jumper cables. I mean, some, yeah, jumper cables like this. Now, don't be messing around with all that other, you know, that cheap stuff. Remember, you know, your tools make you. You're only, um, you're only as good as your knowledge and your tools. You can have all the knowledge you want, but if you don't have the right tools with you, you know, you can't get the job done. Spend your money wisely. Get yourself some good tools, because if you get the cheap stuff, you're gonna wind up having to pay double because now you gotta get buy some some the real stuff and you already spent money on the cheap stuff, you know. So from the start, buy yourself the good stuff, and you you buy the good stuff. You only probably and you take care of it. You only probably have to buy it once. All right. Now these these are also insulation piercing probes, uh, and everything I like I say most all of this stuff is is for like four millimeter and they fit onto. Um, for example, like this this thing here, these are uh, these probes that I showed you about fluke. All of them. Try not to make a mess. Uh, but let me see. I am making a, a mess. I can't kind of confuse you, but all of them fit on here. All of them fit on here. Now, what this does also, if need to be, I don't know if you can see that little needle that's down in there. You see it going up and down. There's a needle. Well, when you you raise it up, they put the wire in there. And you let it go down in there and same thing if you may be in an area where you cannot see the beginning of that of, of, of that circuit or the end but you know that's the wire you need you want to test it okay well um, you, you, you know you can just pierce the wire Plug, uh, put this on a hot put the other one um, get, a, get one of these uh, the black one put it on ground somewhere and see if we're getting voltage so you want to get all get all the accessories you can to help you do your job. So that's these two right here that I have. This also, these also, these are for piercing. These are very pointy. These are my fluke. Very pointy. I use these when if I'm testing, let's just say I'm working on a, I'm 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 in a, a plant or a factory, and I'm I'm working I'm I'm, I'm rewiring a whole forklift or some kind of machine. They have a, they have their battery cable, thick battery cable, or some thick wire. Well, I can probe that them two battery cables so sharp that I can probe both of both of them, positive and negative. 
and I can get a reading or any kind of pro, any kind of insulation. You want to just probe it, just stick it through the insulation and turn it off first. Don't be doing it while it's hot. <laughs> just turn it off and probe it and then you can turn it on and get a reading, have it going. And then once you pull it, it's, pull it out, the insulation closes up. So, or you will put some tape around it if you want, if you choose to, but this won't do damage to the uh, insulation. But they're so important, that's what, that's what I use these for. These are, these are special probes that I bought for that kind of thing. Now, these large uh, crocodile clips right, uh, right here, you're gonna need these, because sometimes you may have to clip on to the main lugs. Uh, you may go into someone's house, the whole house is uh, her lights are going off and on. Everything looks like it's blinking. Well, now you have to take a, you have to do a, like a data login reading. So you want to turn all the breakers off. You want to go to the main, uh, the main lugs, and 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 and, and um, just measure the incoming um, power. Clip both of these on. Put your meter right there, and you go. These are, and what I mean by that, these are bigger. These are open wide enough that. You know they can fit around the two lugs. Now Fluke have a pair. Fluke have some too. You know that opens up real wide. Um, they probably open up a little wider than this. But like I said, you don't have to. These are by Greenlee. You don't have to get these. I'm just using these out as a prop to show you what I'm talking about. You go, but these. You know you want this to um, to to go around the big screws. You know battery cables or whatever. You know you want this to go around there. And in and, and real Ouch. Yeah, they real they, they got some real bite to them too. So um you want you a pair or two of these. Okay? And I know you probably have some of these. I don't like these, but I keep them with me because sometimes they're small wire that I have to take a measurement on. Sometimes the wire is so small that you know using this, I can because this is closed all the way, but small wire is, is for this. So you want these. So don't throw these away, you keep these also. These small alligator clips that, that normally comes with the, the test instrument when you first buy them. Some of them do. Uh, you know, so keep, you know, if, if you got a good pair like this, keep them, don't get rid of them. All right, and so what I did with this, and I have to talk about this and this together. The reason why I made, I made this, and because sometimes I, when I'm, when I'm either troubleshooting or, uh, you know, I'm just measuring where, just say where a light fixture goes. Let's just say that. And it just had the barrel, the, the, uh, the wire coming in the outlet, coming out of the outlet box, and there's no receptacle there or whatever. Well, I want to get a reading. Well, what I do was I clamp on, I clamp on to the hot and uh, common, and this is made like this. So I made this up right here from a hairdryer cord. And uh, let me just show you what I did. And, it's ain't, and the reason why this is so special, because it's not too often that you find a two plug GFI uh, cord. So, and I have several of, these, several of these cords made. So I plug this in here, like that. Plug this on a hot, two hot wires. I mean, on a hot and uh, a uh, 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 common wire, and I plug this in my meter. This side in my meter, and if there was any kind of short, I'm protected with this GFI. Any kind of surge, my meter's protected with this surge, uh, this GF GFCI that's on the end of this plug right here. So these two go together. Now, also, also, I, I purchased this. I didn't make this. Because I do, uh, I don't do a lot of work on automobile, but I have, you know, every now and then I do test electrical and automobile for some people if they ask me to. But I wanted to be ready because all money is green. And for that kind of price, yes, I'll test it for you to make sure you got such, such and such voltage. Okay, well, this goes into your fuse around right your dashboard, or some people have it on top under the hood. And I can just get my reading with this. I didn't make this, I bought this. This is especially a special made to it. And this is made uh, by, I guess, a company called ES303B. ES303B. And it's 20 max, uh, 20 amp max. 
48 votes. This is this is really special. This is really special, y'all. So I like this. Now, these probes right here, they are like grabbers. If 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 I had to clip on to uh just say a, a, a bare wire somewhere, uh, there may be still, I don't know, um, it may be on a circuit board and I'm measuring something and, you know, and I, I can grab on it. I, I could I put them on my leads and, you know, like you say, and just grab, hook them on there and there you go. These are made by Fluke. I haven't seen any others made like this before and uh, that's why I got these and they are nice. They are very nice. But anyway, that's, you may want to get your pair. Everything that I'm showing you, you may not get all of this stuff, but out of the stuff I'm showing you, you, you know, you may want to get some of this. Get some now and get some later. But anyway, that's, uh, these are like grabbers right here. By Fluke. Here, these right here are also wire for pinching um, test probes. Now, same thing, you, you you know, you hook the probe, for example, I'm not gonna do this, so I wanna mess this, paste this and mess it up. But anyway, yeah, I can do it. Do it. Anyway, you put it in there like that, and there you go, it grabs it. And I don't know if you see up here, or, right underneath there, they have a, pro let me show you. Right underneath there, they have a pin that pierces, you know, with the spring bringing it down, it pierces the insulation, and you can get your reading. Uh, I bought this from, um, oh man, I saw this on one of the, so, uh, one of the uh, I don't know if it's eBay or Amazon, but I've had, the, I had this stuff for a number of years, I can't remember y'all, but if you searching around and use a run across something like this, you, you want to get, get a pair of these. If not one pair, two pair, because you, you know, I don't know how long you plan on being uh, being in this trade, but you may lose a pair. At least you have another pair to back that up. So, uh, just a pair you wanna. That's another pair you wanna get. Y'all seen the video before that I told that I made about my uh, that I made about my uh, pro my 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 uh, my probes. Right here, my fused uh, test probes by Fluke. And, you know, these are some really nice probes. I told you they're protected by HRC fuses. This is 10 amp and 11 amps fuses. You can't get no safer than that. Well, you can, but, you know, this is nice. This is, this is nice to have. You want to get you some uh, fused uh, test probes. I don't know if they're going to be Fluke but get them from a reputable company. These are nice. And, um, you know, you want to get as much uh, much protection between you and that voltage as possible. But uh, who else make them? I think uh, Ideal make them. Agilent makes them. Well, a whole lot of the big companies out there make them. But get them from a reputable company. Don't be going, you know, if somebody trying to sell you some fuses. I mean, uh, get you a... a some, uh, uh, buy some fuses with a two amp fuse. Don't no, don't fall for that. I mean, buy pros with a two amp fuse in there. Don't don't do that. Don't do that at all. These now these right here. These are these are also test probes right here. Now, what's so special about these? These also they fit. Um, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> anyway, it fits the that's this the standard. Um, but I'll tell you about just about fluke. It fits this, no problem. It fits all standard. Now this is a magnet on it. If you're working on contactors uh, inside of a, a, a panel or something like that, you're working on contact, uh, you know, MC uh, MCC panel. Um, this will work out fine. This is metal. So I'm trying to find something metal that I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's just say this for example. This is the lug right here. There you go. Anyway, this is uh, it's slippery. But anyway, once you get it in there, y'all, um, it'll, it'll, it'll hold up. It'll hold up. 
This is this is the strong earth magnet on here. There you go. It's a very strong earth magnet. And uh, you know, and you can put one on the cabinet for a brown, and you can put the other on the lug, and you can walk away. If you you know, if it's so deep in there and you cannot use your alligator clips to, to clip on, that's why you want to get a pair of these right here. And these are made by AEMC Instruments and just uh, I guess Google magnetic probes, magnetic probes by AEMC Instruments, and um, you won't be disappointed. Now, let's go to here. If you own a Fluke 376, uh, even if it's a, uh, it could be the uh, the FC or it could be just the regular F Fluke FC, I mean a Fluke 376 clamp meter, you want to get yourself one of these too. Uh, if, if you don't have one, get one. Because this will put some distance between you and um, that 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 danger that's inside the panel. This stretches out a good ways. Uh, I think like maybe like six feet, or five feet, six feet maybe. And uh, you can you can you know you can put this around the uh, the, the wire the cable, and put your meat on the side somewhere on the side of the panel out of danger and have your face out of danger. So I recommend if you don't if you don't have one of these. And you have a Fluke 376 clamp meter. And I think they make them for the 375 too, I think. If that's a 375, but I know uh, if you have a three, Fluke 381 remote uh, uh, clamp meter, get yourself one of these. You, uh, you won't regret this either. This, this is this is something, safe, something real good to have. Now, this, these are just some more leads that I, that I have by Fluke. Some of you... Uh, like the first one that I showed you, you may want a pair of these. These are, they are both on both ends. Same by fluke. Don't know the number, but by fluke, some of you prefer your, prefer your uh, test these to be, the ends to be like this. If you do, fluke have them. You know, fluke have these two. I can't think of the name, but look on the fluke website. Now this, I made, I made these to go together to get voltage besides the one I made earlier I was telling you about inside of a, an outlet that maybe have a fixture on it. So I put this together on, on the end of some leads right here. You can see I, I put my heat shrink and all this together. And these two go together after, um, make sure, there you go, for me to get my reading. I normally uh, screw this in inside the uh, Edison base and I put these two together, plug this in into my uh, meter, clamp multimeter, clamp meter, and I, I take my measurement. So you may want to look for something that you have that you make or make you something like this and, um, you know, take measurements also. But make sure it's safe, though, guys. Now, last but not least, uh, this. If I'm going in the house and um, it's a it's the the wiring is what's the word I want to use? I, uh, I'm not sure about if the wiring is really good or not. So I want to test it and. Um, I want to test the wire, you know, and uh, so, and I use my insulation tester. And here's the, here's the thing. Let me just show you what I do with that. So you can, you can know what this is for. I'm always making something. Man. What this is for, these two go together. Uh, let me show you. Let me get what I have to get. I'm trying to find one minute. All right, suppose this was a receptacle that we check it. I'm, I'm checking wires throughout the whole entire house. All right, so this is what I would do. This is what I do. Let's just say I have my insulation tester right here. This is my insulation tester that I'm using. Okay, so what I would do, I would, I'm gonna turn it on just to even, even prove to what I'm talking about. 
give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Let me move all this stuff out of the way, and I'll give you a little uh, a little preview of what I'm talking about. Let's just say we I'm testing. Uh, you're in the house, and you want to test the wire inside of this whole entire house. Well, here we go. I'm gonna go to the to the last if I to the last receptacle in that house. If you can find the last one, it may be the middle one or what have you. But I'm gonna go to one of the on that on that on that branch circuit. I'm gonna plug this on the end of it. Okay. Now the wire itself. Let me show you something. Exactly what I'm talking about. How we're gonna do this. All right. So give you an idea. Make sure we got this right. Oh, you know, I can I can show you with that without this. Hold on a minute. But let's just assume. Just, just assume bear with me now, now. This is this is the wire we're testing, but I'm gonna have to do this to show you that this works. I'm going to Okay, I made this up, but you see the wire that's inside of here. I've connected the wires all to each other and to the ground. To each other and to the ground. Each one I'm going to the ground. So this is what I'm gonna do. And let's just assume that I'm on one end with this and one, uh, I'm, uh, one end of the house and I'm using this. And sometimes I don't have to use this, but I'm just showing you what I'm talking about. I'm at another receptacle. And I was to plug this inside of here, like this. Now, I was going away before, hurt myself. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. Now, when I, when I apply voltage to this, whether it's gonna be the hot to the common or the uh, neutral to the, to the hot, I mean, uh, the ground to the hot, it should come back zero because it won't be any, any resistance to this. Now you watch this, see how I got it hooked up. But now inside the house, it won't be like this. This is gonna, this other one, you're gonna have wire, I'm testing the wire, and this way it's gonna make this loop back. So that to make that straight, I'll make this loop through here and give me a read. So here we go. All right. We're gonna do the, the, the hot and the neutral first. It should come back zero. See? Look at that. See zero. So now that's the hot and we we know there's no resistance on that one. So what I would do with this one. I'm gonna go from the to the maybe you to do the ground now. I made this wire with the ground is in here. You do the same thing. Just see if that wire is good. Let's test it. Go come back the same thing. See? So I'm I'm testing the wire, and this is the end of my loop right here. Right here. Now, if you want to, you can go to the panel. You can put some alligator clips on the end of this if you want, if you choose to, or this wire, get your in, uh, insulation tester and test the wire from the panel, put this on, make this up, put this on the end of the, on the end of the line, and you got yourself a loop. You're testing the, you're testing the hot wire, you're testing the, the, the neutral wire, and you're testing the ground wire for any kind of damage. So uh, that's what I do. That's what I do. I think I, I, I try to think out of the box. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And but it's safe. It's safe. Make it safe, guys. And uh, you know, this is this is what I do. No, I'm not gonna tell you guys to do this. I don't be responsible. They want to get me uh, hurting themselves. Don't do what I do. Don't do not do what I do. This is this is just for me to do. I don't want to get nobody hurt. But anyway, this this works for me, and uh, I've used it several times, and it works for me. But anyway, guys, don't want to hold you any longer. I really do appreciate uh, you guys uh, letting me, as always, man, take up your time 
you know, these videos that I make. I really do like making these videos. I really appreciate you guys uh, liking, the, liking the videos, man, and sharing your comments, sharing your stories. I really appreciate that, telling me, uh, uh, you know, and uh, uh, just having a discussion. Uh, I want to give a shout out to all y'all, man, all of y'all, all of you sparkers, all of y'all, you know, and uh, y'all stay safe out there. And um, don't forget, if this is your first time, I appreciate it if you hit that like button under the video and um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Share the video with your friends and when they, they like it, tell them you do the same. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and, uh, you know, help me get my numbers up there. Uh, I really would appreciate that and everything what you're doing is for free. So uh, take care and until next time, peace out.